Hello, hello, hello. I have an update. I just had a call from um, Blue Cross, a Blue Cross nurse up in Pennsylvania. She spent so much time with me on the phone. It was amazing. She answered all these questions that I have been having <laughs> about this pulmonary embolism. She told me that um, she just answered all my questions. I can sleep on my stomach. I can do my breathing exercises. It's actually good for me. Um, I can travel home anytime. I forgot to tell my daughter that. <laughs> as long as I'm feeling good and not dizzy, she said dizziness is normal right now with my with the new medicine that I'm taking. She said that that double dose is a heavy dose. Um, she ex went over some things. One thing that bothered me on my chart was um, my blood sugar was high. I've never had high blood sugar. I'm not diabetic. And she said it's because your body, when your body goes into kind of like shock from different things. But she said it wasn't even high enough to even consider worrying about it. So <laughs> she made me feel great. And her name was Sarah, which is my daughter's name. Made me feel even better. And she gave me all these resources. And one of the resources that she gave me, I'm super excited about this. So this one resource that comes with my insurance that's not free, I have to click these links and make sure that I'm qualified for it, which I think I am, because she told me about it. Um, you get a personal coach for like every week that will um, go over like what I've been eating and my plan and do like all my measurements, like taking all my different, all my different measurements because I got, a, I got a lot to work with here. And uh, I'm super motivated right now, but you and I both probably know this. Motivation, it's like brushing your teeth. You got to do it every day. Got to do it a couple times a day. So it's easy, it's easy. I know how easy it is to like get on motivated from my health quest, which is my health quest. So I think having a personal accountability person to talk to once a week and they send you a scale that the scale is linked to this app so they can see like, I'll get on it once a day or whatever, whatever we decide I'm gonna do. I wanna get on it once a day. And um, the other resource that she said that's available to me, which I love this, is to get counseling because I know that I have a food addiction. I know that I, I have I have had a problem. And getting counseling is a great thing because I really believe like the fitness journey that I'm embarking on is like getting my head right, my body will follow, but I got it, I gotta do it. <laughs> so um, I wanna do that. I'm gonna share that on here. I'm gonna get it started now, and I'm thinking actually, because I'm feeling so much better today. It's just been a week today, I can't believe it. But I think truthfully, I think we're gonna leave on Monday to go home, because I want, I really wanna get home. I haven't been home since the last day in January, the day before last day in January, something like that. I've been away for a long time, I miss home. <laughs> So um, I'm going to talk to Martin about that, talk to her daughter about that. And um, I'm just, I, I want to get into a routine. Oh, she told me something else that I really want to share. You know how it people say it takes seven times to create a habit or something like, whatever, whatever. She said that medical studies for, for especially for um, getting healthy and managing your, managing your weight, that habits, you need to do them for six months. So six months is such a short amount of time. I'm excited because I'm on my nine month plan to lose 90 pounds in nine months and to get off my blood clot medicine and to get off my high blood pressure medicine. So six months, we got this. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to give you a little update. I feel so much better. She said, also she said it's super normal for me to have like a little mini panic attacks at night. Like if I feel like, can I breathe? <sighs> yeah, I can breathe. <laughs> she said that's gonna, she said that's gonna be around for a little while probably. So, and Morton had this with his heart too. Him and I both had this with his heart cause we were both like, is this okay? Is this all right? And um, so yeah, 
I'm, I feel so much better after having talked with her. She probably talked for about an hour. It was amazing. She answered all my questions. She said I had really good ones. And she's calling me next week too. So I will keep you posted. I'll keep you posted on the program that I'm getting into till <coughs> that is the, the um, weekly like accountability buddy, weigh in, check in, measuring kind of thing. Um, full transparency. Anything that I can do to help, I want to do to help. If it helps one person, it's worth it. Hey, Moon Hollow. Moon Hollow bought this. This is yours. I have special, um, special art mailers that are arriving tomorrow. Um, just thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to get home now that she said I'm safe to travel. <laughs> she, this is this is my plan. I'm gonna stop in every state, <laughs> and the long states because there's a couple that are long states that are like three hours to go through. I'm gonna stop halfway through those states as well. Get out, walk around, maybe do a little jumping jack, do a little whatever, and I'm gonna wear compression socks. Go so. Blah, blah, blah. Compression socks going home. Sheila, that sounds fun. Sheila's making magazine rolls at the moment. That's a good thing. That's super fun. Um, I'm going to jump off. I'm still working on my pictures that I'm, that I'm putting little messages on and sending out. my The albums are coming here. I'm going to be putting them in. And I have my little, um, my little bag of my paper from France that I'm going to collage on the front. Um, I, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do the fronts, but I'm going to do them super cool. They're going to be beautiful little photo books from France. I'm so excited. So, um, yeah, I'm so happy too. The She said driving is great because you can get out. Stop when you want to. Get out, walk around, and um, I'm going to do it. I want to get home so I can get into a routine because like our daughter's house, we are so welcome here. My daughter said stay as many weeks, months, or years that <laughs> we want to, but it, it's different. I want to get home. I want to take control of my cupboards. I'm going to have, um, we're, we're going to create a naughty cupboard for Morton. We did this before when I was doing my lover thing where I just put his his food that, because I'm not saying to Morton, stop eating sugar. I have decided to stop eating sugar. Morton can do what he wants to. He's a big boy. <laughs> and uh, I'm looking, um, it might sound selfish. Please don't think I'm being selfish. I gotta look after me. <laughs> I have to. I can't, um, I can't save anybody else but me. I can save me. And I can get on my own health journey and do my own health thing. And if Morton wants to, too, awesome. But I think a lot of people say like, oh, it's easier when you have support. It, yes and no, because it's also easier to feel like let down in somebody like, oh, I failed doing this. Now they're feeling like a failure too because they didn't support you enough. I'm taking that away from him. Morton won't have that responsibility or power the, it's like, it is, this is my thing, a hundred percent my thing. And I think too many times we um, look and say like, oh, I'm fat because my grandmas were fat. I've said that so many, I've made TikToks about it and I'm just owning it. I'm absolutely owning it all. So yeah, the, uh, Two people can live together and eat totally different stuff. He eats meat and I don't eat meat. He can eat sugar. I don't eat sugar. <laughs> it's all good. So I'm excited to get home. I'm excited for, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm just excited to be breathing. Every time I take a big breath, I just send up so many thanks and so grateful to be here. There are, um, yeah, lots of people that don't make it through this. So I, I got lucky. I did nothing special but go into the hospital and got very lucky. 
<laughs> I'm here for a reason and I think that's my reason is to um, help, encourage, love, motivate, cheer on people. So that's what I'm going to. I think I think I want to leave on Monday. I really want to be home. I have I haven't been home since January. <laughs> And it's so, I just have so much stuff that I want to do that I can't do here. So, and the biggest one is just getting into my fitness routine. I'm excited about getting um, things set up and modified. I'm going to do lives where I'm standing on the treadmill. I am going to be that person on the treadmill talking, <sighs> taking deep breaths, appreciating this life and just being so grateful. So grateful to be here. So I just want to tell you I had that great call with the nurse. And it's the nurse through my Blue Cross Blue Shield that we have our insurance that we have. So I am so thankful that we have insurance. I still have no idea what our bills are going to be. I'm not worried about it. Uh, yeah, ratch, ratch the, or reach the, the getting home is, getting home is, it's going to be good medicine for me. And I got a lot of stuff I want to do there. So um, I just wanted to share with you about the nurse reaching out to me. I loved it. She answered questions. And I'm just I'm very grateful. So I'm going to jump off. And I think I'm going to go for a walk and then get back to work. And I will, uh, I'll talk to you later. I'm probably going to go live on TikTok while I'm sitting here doing some crafty stuff. So yeah, money, money comes and goes. Absolutely right. We can all, you can always make more money. You can't, like, the, the fear, that fear of, like, taking a breath and not being able to get that breath, that's, that's, I, oh, yeah, if I can stop one person from getting blood clots, that's my purpose in this life. <laughs> get up, move around, <laughs> do all that good stuff, and don't sit too long, so let's get, let's get moving. I'll talk to you later. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.